Hello, Chet Hastings here again. Uh, in this short video, we're going to discuss placing uh, Google AdSense ads, uh, banners, or actually any kind of ads on your blogs using a, a, a neat little free plugin called Max Banner Ads. You simply upload the plugin to your blog the same way you would upload any, uh, and then make a few settings inside your dashboard, and your your, your ads or banners will appear where you want them either on all the pages or on pages that you suggest. Uh, let's take a quick look at how this is accomplished. It's a simple procedure to uh, locate this uh, plugin. Simply do a Google search for Max uh, Banner Ads. You'll find yourself at this page. Scroll down and uh, click on the download and download a zip file. I've shown you in other videos how to upload the plugin to your blog, so we won't go into that here, but uh, let's go right to a, a, a blog that has Max Banner Ads on it, and uh, you'll, you'll see it here. Up in the upper left-hand corner, I've got uh, what's called a rectangle, a Google rectangle. You can use a, a horizontal ad, which would place a, a series of ads across or what's called a, a skyscraper ad and actually place them uh, in the sidebar. Uh, many, many people, including myself, uh, believe that the best place to put the uh, ad sets uh, block on your site is to use this rectangle. It's a 300 by 250 rectangle. It's right in the upper <clears throat> portion of your, of your site this way and in what's called above the fold. In other words, when someone gets to your site before they do any scrolling at all, this is what they're going to see. So let's take a look in the dashboard and see how we get these ads to appear where we want them to be. Once in the dashboard of your blog, click on Tools. When that uh, drop-down menu opens up, click on Max Banner Ads. And in here you'll see a series of, uh, of uh, what are called zones. These are actually the, the areas where you can place your ads. You can pick any one of these. For instance, in this one, I've, I've, I've taken the, the zone one. I'm gonna, it's already set up, so I'm going to go down to the next one and show you how you would set up a new one, though. Okay, go up to the top and click on Add a New Zone. And when that opens up, let's name this uh, Zone 3. And then we decide where we want to put it. Now, I have found that with sometimes with different templates, if I use the uh, top of the, the post, it doesn't always go where I want it. So here's here's the the, the uh, system that works best for me. I uncheck this, and then I go down and click on within the post. And then here's where you can decide what what pages you want it to show on. I usually show mine on all, and then click on adjust alignment. And then when that opens up, you decide where you want it. In this case, I want it to be at the top. I don't want it to wrap text. Uh, if, you, if you leave this wrap text, the, the ad will show up in the upper left-hand corner, and then your first article a portion will be next to it. Uh, and in my opinion, uh, at least on my blogs, I don't like the way that looks. But you can, you can try it both ways and see. But I'm going to uncheck this, and then I'm going to say that I want it to align to the left. And once that's done, you simply click on Save. That sets the zone. Now once you click Save, you end up back on this page. Here's our Zone 3. And now we want to add the banner. So just underneath the blue bar, it says no banner added yet, so we'll click on Add Now. And this is where you'll add your text, whether it's an AdSense of a ad or banner or a banner for uh, some other affiliate program you can put text in here you can add actually pretty much anything you want in here and what we need to do is because this is going to be a text for a an AdSense uh, a, a block we're going to click on other and let's call this banner add three and then in this block you're going to post the code so the first thing we need to do now is go to uh, our Google AdSense account and get the code. Okay. 
once inside your your Google AdSense uh, back office click on AdSense setup I'm making this video very early in the morning and so there's not much going on inside the account at this particular time on this page you have a drop down menu here where you can choose either text and image ads or text ads only you can make the choice well for this particular one we'll make a text ads only the difference is if you choose the text and image uh, it, it alternates one time your page will open and there'll be a, a banner ad on there when the page is refreshed or the next time is visited maybe just a text ad uh, you'll want to do some testing on your particular sites and see which ones work for, for best for you uh, although most people that I've talked to or listened to uh, claim that the text ads are best but you need to do your own testing okay but let's for the uh, purposes of this video let's go with text ads go down and click on continue and then you'll see up here you can choose the size of your ad <clears throat> we want to use the 300 by 250 and then you want to match your ad to your background the the theory is that you want the the Google AdSense ads to blend into your background you don't want them to be blaring out so that people look at them and say oh those are Google AdSense ads so if the background color on your site is white then you choose a, a, a white background and I don't use a border so I'm going to go with white so that'll blend into that site because everything the background is uh, white on that one and then the title you can choose the color of that for this one we'll just choose black and uh, the uh, text can be black and then the URL this is what shows at the bottom as a normal URL that can be blue or you can make that the same color okay and you can look over here and preview the ad and get a, a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like okay this is basically showing you the colors that you've chosen it doesn't show any ads of course so you can see that you've got some choices there once you've made your choices click on continue click on continue once again and then click on submit and get code and here's the business end of it you're simply going to copy this and now we'll go back to the blog and add this all right, back at our dashboard. Remember, we opened up the uh, Max Banner Ads uh, banner portion, and all you need to do here is simply paste in the code, and then click on Save. And then uh, take a look at your blog. Now, <clears throat> this this uh, particular blog has already been set up, and in, in Zone One, I've already added the uh, ads so I just added this uh, this uh, third ad as a demonstration so I'm going to remove that now and then we'll go back out and, and refresh the way that the the blog looks with the banner ads actually before I remove this ad I want to show you that if you've placed ads on, on, on various sizes and, and, and as you notice each one of those blue bars is a different section of your blog so you could you could use max banner ads to place one ad in the upper left hand corner you could put one at the bottom of your post you could put them in the sidebar so you have lots of choices but in this case I've, I've placed an ad in here that's for demonstration purposes only and I really don't want it to show so I'm just going to click on disable and save that and if this was a, a banner that I wanted to show from time to time I could come back in here and, and uh, re-enable it so let's take a look at the site again and again you'll see that the, the ad is of the upper left hand corner and you'll see that the the title is black the uh, text is black and yet it's got a, a blue link on the bottom so you can uh, changes as I said to anything to match your site I like to, to have mine blend in as much as possible now one more thing to show you is that underneath the ads you're going to see a little powered by max banner ads this is a little uh, ad uh, that helps max banner ads and because this is a free plug-in uh, this is going to show now there is an upgrade uh, in your back office where you uh, added the max banner ads you find a link back there you can click and 
upgrade, pay for this plugin, and it will remove this uh, little blurb down here if, if you choose to do that. And that's basically all there is to it, folks.